Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we open up in the middle of a project because I didn't think this was going to be interesting but it turns out to be one heck of a mess and in that regard it becomes interesting anyway so uh, but I'll start by um, thanking some patrons that it's new patrons to my channel so uh, yeah I have a few here I've been lacking I've been haven't been doing this for a while been on vacation and stuff so the first one I'll uh, thank is Nivak Naub I had to get help with that on Google um, Translate to try and say that correctly because that was just a lot of letters to me. But then we have the more uh, Danish sounding name, Tobias Sildrup. Thank you very much for becoming a new patron. And then we have Kirk Gria. Kirk Gri Gria. Hmm. I'm probably butchering that one. And I should probably also mention Sebastian Manak who uh, became a patron and um, retreated again. So thank you for your short <laughs> patron life, Sebastian. Uh, to the video. I have a laptop decimated into um, atoms behind me. I, uh, I did a previous video where I uh, took a laptop. It, that was a Lenovo one. And I uh, replaced this the keyboard on it because the keyboard was defective. And um, well, that worked out very well. It was a very easy job. The video did very awfully. It didn't do good at, at all. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna film it because the video did so poorly. So, yeah, no one is interested. Uh, but it was a very easy job. It was like three screws and uh, yeah, nothing to it. This is different. This is a piece of crap compared to. It's an Asus. Oh, what was it called? It's on the back over there, which I can't really get to. Is there anything here? Oh. It's a UX32V. UX32V. Uh, I would not recommend this laptop for servability, that's for sure. You have to take everything out and I do mean everything out to replace the keyboard I have put the new keyboard in this is the old keyboard and it had a, a broken key over here the enter key does not work I had tried to fix it but it didn't work it was broken and there is more or less nothing you can do this one is also not very good so yeah um, and expensive too. A new keyboard like this was 500 Danish kronos uh, and a lot of hassle. So the new keyboard and you can see the Danish uh, keys here so uh, of course we are limited to that we need Danish keyboards when we are in Denmark because we have those three irritating letters in this regard. So this is the, the new keyboard and it's it looks the same, but the keys work. So that is the main benefit of this. And you can see, I, I managed not to take the touchpad out. That is still in. I did watch some videos where someone was doing this. So I haven't had to do everything from, from background. So I knew kind of what to do as the video was there with some very loud uh, techno music on top of it which was very annoying so yeah but that can mute, be muted of course so i took this apart last night and it's um the keyboard is hold into place with plastic there has been some taps here that has gone through and then they have melted the plastic uh each of these tiny little taps these uh there has been a little pin sticking through and then the, something hot has gone down, pressed and melted the plastic in place. So it's not really meant to be taken apart ever. And what I saw was that the one that I was watching to put it back in place, they used um, super glue. And last night at about midnight when I was taking this apart, it turned out that I was out of super glue. So this morning I, uh, I went to get some super glue at my local tourist trap so i paid 
eight euros for this tiny bottle of super glue which is horrifically overpriced so i'm gonna every little place here where there was plastic before i've got to give it a tap of super glue instead to hold the keyboard in place and i'm gonna be very careful not to use too much because then i will be in trouble um surprisingly it wasn't too hard to get all of this uh, melted plastic off i did get help from a razor blade i have it here uh, i some of them i cut off the plastic other i was just able with a tiny little uh, i could get in here and i could break them apart and i managed to do that without making any damage so that was a that was a thing then we have this thing that goes on the back of it and i think this is uh, backlights for the keyboard so it, it goes on something like this and it, it backlights the keyboard i am not worried too much about that if that doesn't work that is okay -ish. but i'm gonna put it back with some tape or whatever so yeah i'll proceed with this i'll now bring you along as i go but yeah this UX32V is not very serviceable. Okay, I think I have glued it in place now, uh, including my fingerprints here and there. Glued my fingers to it and had to, uh, yeah, <laughs> leave my prints all over it. So now I think we can start the, the putting back together. I really hope that I haven't glued too many buttons. feel about right so I could clean this but I'm more afraid that I'll just mess up even more so there is some discoloring over here so something has uh, been in there but I do believe that the keys was broken and that this isn't actually it so we're gonna put this one back and it just sits kind of in the middle of everywhere, everything. I think that's about there. If it's not, well, tough luck. There's lots of anti-static tape here uh, to make sure that everything is grounded inside of the computer, laptop. So on top of that, there is some metal stuff that was glued to the bottom here. So that's it, something like, I forget how this sits. Hmm. I turned the bottom around so everything is the opposite way. That wasn't good. So now I think my logic might apply. So. Yes, this one goes here, and that was also fastened by melted plastic, so I'm not sure how I'm going to fasten that again, but we'll figure something out. There is also screws, I see. Ah, and it just naturally glues to my fingers instead of where I want it. And it kind of glues to the thing that I've had out of there. So that doesn't glue any that great anymore. So it's not going to be as good as it was. But hopefully the keyboard will be better. And over here it was glued to plastic as well. So. Okay,
Okay, so it will have to do. So on the back of the keyboard there is a um, M3 tape and that's just about now that I need to remove that and tape that to the back. And also look, keep everything running it. Take this off. So this keyboard header thing will go up here and tape on there. And that We'll make this go in a lot easier. Okay, it's it's there, uh, and there is some tape on this, so it should kind of glue itself back together. But yeah, it's not going to be as good as it was. So the system board fits on top of this. The next thing to go in is the system board. I have it here. This is the system board of the of the tiny Asus laptop. So I just blew clean the fan here. There are some RAM on the back here, and there are some some RAM underneath here as well, and then there is the RAM. So I think there are some RAM on the system board, and then there is some RAM on the. So this has to go in. Um, it has to align with all the connections over here, which was about the hardest thing of getting it out. So we're gonna try over there, and we have those two connections that goes up there. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> For once. There. The backlight and this is the touch path. So those two connectors are in. And I have a system here, the iFixit kit. Everything, every time I take something out, I have placed them in their own little square. So uh, this is all for the system board or the motherboard. All of these little plastic things are the ones that broke off when I took the keyboard off. You can kind of see them there. So I tried to, to get as many of those out of there as possible. So now let's fasten the motherboard. That is going to tighten everything down a bit, which is going to be nice. And um, yeah, I am using the iFixit kit that someone very nicely gave me many, many years ago. Oh dear. And there are some <laughs> some bigger screws, <laughs> which isn't that big. And here we have to um, to go back a little bit because I didn't get the cable for the keyboard through here. All that trouble, and I wouldn't have a keyboard that would be. <clears throat> mostly irritating I'm sure so that needs to go through a slot here in the system board right there and I have to make sure to get the two other connections through there as well so now we have the that was why it went in that easily it was just sitting on top of that that wouldn't have been great so, yeah now we have the keyboard going through and that's gonna be a vast improvement later so with all the humongous screws in, we have some other uh, rather smaller screws that also goes into the system board. And they have very nicely marked them down here. This is one of the smaller screws and that's another one and there and there and yeah. And the bigger screws has bigger copper circles around them. So yeah, there's a little bit of a point there. That was nice. 
Okay, so to fit the smaller screws, I actually had to loosen everything else because the smaller screws goes into this metal thing that I loosely placed uh, on the bottom and that didn't work very well because it was too tight. So now, now I can fasten everything starting... I didn't have to... I didn't have to loosen it much, but just enough so that it would give a couple of millimeters because the small screws wasn't going into the holes. And that's a problem. And there is one. I think I forgot this one underneath here. I've forgotten to loosen that. Okay. So, okay, we're getting there. The next little thing I took off was this thing, which is the SD card reader and a US USB 3 connector and tiny battery. I guess that's about it. So that um, that goes over here where the connection are out the side here. So we need to to add that up. It has this connection going into it, so we need to align that correctly so uh, yeah feels about right and there is two bigger screws for that both of them comes magnetic so we can screw that and uh, a fan needs to go underneath here so we're not gonna put this connector in just yet but yeah we're close uh, the next thing that goes in is the screen okay I can I can kind of remember the different screws here and these were something that came for the screen so they need to go in so now we get the screen and uh, the screen is kind of filthy I should have done something. This is a very personal computer, apparently. It doesn't look good. But yeah, we're not here to judge. Just here to assemble. So the hinges... Can we turn that? We can turn that so I can get them in a better angle. There. And the screen naturally sits up here. And it's screwed in. Da, 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 over there. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it goes in that way. Yeah, that's, uh, that's different. Something like that. So there are some longer screws to put that in. I'll just show it to you. Here, they're a little bit longer. So we're gonna put some of those in. I have to be careful because this is these screen things can be quite fragile. It's very easy to break the hinges here. So we don't want to stress it too much before it's in. There you go. And we have some Wi-Fi cables coming out here. They they need to go in here. There is a little Wi-Fi. There, I think it will sit by itself now. And then we have we have these things. Uh, which the iFixit kit has a very nice thing that will do. This one. So I can put that in my little iFixit screwdriver. And we can put those in. Okay, the magnet in the bottom of that isn't as strong as I could have wanted. So that's the screen. So now we can we can close that very carefully. There. And 
we better start putting in some of these cables. Suddenly I will have forgotten something, so let's start with the thing that broke the the keyboard here. I'll put that in and lock that into place. And that needs to be uh, put down there somewhere. Let's try and see if we can lock that into place. Oh, steady hand. Go in there. Nah. I'm not gonna do it. There. Keep that in. And lock that down. Come on. There. Gotcha. There, those two are in, good. Over here we have the two Wi-Fi connectors. And they need to go down here or something. Ah, you can go back in. Okay, it does not want to glue anymore, this pouch. So as it is um, uh, made out of a leading material, I'm not going to have it scooping around. So. I'm gonna get rid of it because that's a mistake that will just, that's going to happen. You know it, I know it. Let's get rid of it. There. Uh, the black one goes over here and the white one goes over there. So they need to be negotiated into place. Like so. Funny. Okay. White one is in as well. On the other side of the laptop, we need to put in this screen connector. And I believe that came in this way. It needs to go over here. And it looks like it goes around that connector there. And in that way. And it goes into this big beefy connector here with a quarter of a million little connections and so I'm gonna press that in that's incredible that that has a good connection if it has a good connection I guess we have reached the little fan that needs to go underneath here that is this one it blows at a tiny little radiator right here and has a tiny little connector right there that goes into a connector right there so yeah we need to fit that it has three screws and it's also the next little square on my screw block here there's three tiny little screws there so that means that that's that fan the next one has five which is odd so but let's put this in first. Then we need this connector to go in over here now that we have that piece out. There. <laughs> kind of a bad design here. They are not getting the full fan blowing out of that fan. But yeah, I guess they might have figured out that it's good enough. Hard drive. This is a good old machine so it has a good old spinning disk this is 500 gigabytes of 5400 rpms of or well, slow as heck um, so we'll pop that in and it goes in with uh, four screws 
which is a bit odd because then I have a screw left over. So weird. Ah. Must have fallen over from one of the other compartments. I don't believe I've ever taken a laptop this much apart before. But then again, I haven't changed many keyboards either. So let's see, we have the cable here sitting. I'm checking if I have forgotten any connections. The RAM. Nothing beneath the RAM. They have kind of put some tape over the RAM. I'm not sure what that will do. Probably to avoid it getting static something. Okay, then we have the battery. That's the last thing that we need. Hmm. Am I missing any screws anywhere? Could you help me with that? Well, in that case, I don't see it and you were too slow to help out. Uh, so the battery is this beefy thing and the, the, the speakers just happens to be sitting on side of it. And well, they came out with the battery, so I didn't bother to do anything. I just Okay, cool. It comes in one piece, so hopefully it goes in in one piece as well. So it goes down here. I have popped that in and that in and that in and that and that. There is two, the tiniest little speaker cable and the battery cable that we need to make sure to get in when we do this. But we're gonna pop in the speakers. We want our. That's the tiniest cables ever. I would not expect uh, much audio quality out of that. There. Those are in. I don't. Yeah, we can screw it in before we put the cable in. That would probably be okay. Okay, the battery is in and we are in lock. The, uh, it took up all the black screws. Now we only have the last depart compartment of... These are silver screws, silver colored screws. And that's for the back, back of the of the laptop so um, yeah we need to put the power cable for the battery in okay I think I might want to turn it on before we put the cover on yeah, that's a good idea, Morton. So here it goes. You are along for the very start, so it's not as if I'm hiding anything. It turns on. It has windows. That spinning disc is worth every penny. It's very thorough. Boy, the screen is dirty. Mouse works. It's ready in Windows. You should not shut down the machine. Danish version. I see that the camera picks up a bit of flickering here. That's not in on there in real life. So, uh, yeah, I cleaned the screen a little bit. That helps. This works. Enter works. 
Okay, uh, I had to uh, ring and get the password, so uh, we're in and it did eat the password. So, oh, updating Steam? Yeah, I don't think so because you're not on the wireless network, so I don't think we need to do that. Go away. But I want to test the different keys and make sure that it does something, or at least the most used keys. So notepad. There. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, Y, Z. And then someone reminded me to test W and the Danish letters. Oh! M is it A F K O Y O L M N A M S no N no it's there. O P Q R S T U V X X U U Y is also there. Numbers maybe. Seems good. I think we are good to go. And there's even lights in, in there. And there's light up here. So I think we might be okay. So I'm gonna clean it a little bit and then I'm gonna screw on the... It's uh, lacking power here, only 12% back. I'll, I need to check if that still works. So here is the power adapter. Let's see if we can hit that. that in and it's charging yes so that is okay I think we're good to uh, screw the cover back on um, I do not normally repair laptops uh, it's not one of my great interests but I do it occasionally for people that deserve it so I'm doing the back of it and this uh, on the back they use tiny little torque screws uh, so that's kind of weird. Everything else inside has been Philips. Tiny Philips head. But the back of the laptop talks. So the back is back on. And I have also washed the laptop a little bit. Uh, getting rid of the... Well, it's a personal PC and this one is... Well, it's a bit more personal than, than usual. So... Uh, yeah, opens up. Power's on. Uh, we need, need some power on it again, I think. I stopped my charging because uh, when I was mounting the back, I didn't want the, the power cord in the way. And I'm just gonna test that everything is still as it was before. Uh, I don't know how expensive this laptop is, but me working on it for like four or five hours here, it was probably not worth my time. I have no idea if this is an expensive laptop. Uh, it does say i7 out here and an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 620M, one gigabyte of, it might be a okay spec out little laptop. So maybe it's okay to fix it. Uh, the keyboard was about 500 Danish kroners and I think I've spent about five hours fixing this. So, well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so worth it or not, it kind of depends on how much value I put on my time. Five hours, yeah, it's a bit much. Two hours, okay. Five hours, ah, that is kind of a lot. Um, I would really not recommend these Asus laptop for their servability. It's awful. You had to take so much apart and it's not made to come apart, so I had to break off all the plastic and super glue and I still have super glue on my fingers but I forgot to add the cost of the super glue which was 50 Danish kroners so that's 550 kroners in spare parts <laughs> never mind um, do check me out over on patreon and if you want to get your name shout out 
uh, become a new patron over there. That would be awesome. Other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.